Welcome to our lecture online. Here in our next set, notice we have lots of negative exponents. So how do we deal with negative exponents? Sometimes it's easier to just to go ahead and use the rule. Like in this case, we have a negative exponent, but it's raised to a negative exponent. So rather than doing this, we could say, well, let's first change this into a positive exponent by writing this as 1 over x squared. So we move it to the denominator, make it positive, raise it to the negative 3 power, and then we can turn it into a positive exponent by flipping it over. So this is equal to x squared raised to the third power, and then we simply use the multiplication rule here where this is equal to x to the 2 times 3 or 6 power. Or we could have just skipped all that and simply said, well, we have an exponent raised to an exponent, so all we have to do is the following. We have x to the minus 2 raised to the minus 3 power. We simply multiply exponents. That's x to the minus 2 times the minus 3 power, so therefore it's simply x to the 6th power. And of course, we get the same result, and that is a lot faster and easier. Sometimes it's just better to clean things up first and get rid of the negative exponents, especially when we have something this complicated. So what we can do here is first change this into a positive exponent by flipping this first fraction around. So end up with b squared over a to the positive 2 power. And over here we can bring the a to the denominator. So this is equal to 1 over a squared b cubed raised to the second power. And now we've gotten rid of all the negative exponents. So now the next thing we do is apply the exponents. So here we have b to the second power raised to the second power is b to the fourth power divided by a to the second power multiplied times 1 over here we have a to the second power raised to the second power which is a to the fourth power and b cubed raised to the second power which is b to the sixth power and now all we have to do is simply simplify what we have over here now how do we do that so let's rewrite what we have there now notice here we have the two a's in the denominator, so this can be written as 1 over a to the 2 plus 4 power, which is a to the 6th power. So we've combined the two factors with the a. But what about with the b? Now we have b to the 4th in the numerator and b to the 6th in the denominator. And notice that the largest positive exponent is in the denominator, so instead of moving this to the numerator and end up with a negative exponent, we can write this as 1 over a to the 6th, b to the 6th minus 4, because when we bring the positive 4 from the numerator to the denominator, it becomes a negative exponent. So we subtract it, and so this becomes equal to 1 over a to the 6th, b to the 2nd power. And that's how we simplify, ultimately, that initial expression. Now, what we could have done instead, to show you, if we take this portion so far, what we have so far, let's write it over on the side here. Instead of moving the b to the 4th down, let's move b to the 6th up to see what would happen. So this would then become b to the 4 minus 6, because when we, when we have a, an exponent in the denominator, we bring it to the numerator, you subtract it, and then in the denominator we end up with a to the 6th. So this becomes b to the negative 2 divided by a to the 6th. And then, since you didn't want to leave it as a negative exponent, you want to bring it down. So this would be 1 over a to the 6th b squared. And again, you end up with the exact same result that we ended up over here, just by taking a different path. So sometimes you can look at this and go, I'm going to end up with a negative exponent anyway, and then I have to bring it down. So why not bring the b to the 4th power down, make it into negative, and then you get there a little bit quicker. But either way, Works just fine, you end up with the same result, and that is how it's done.